Let's segment the first chapter, Introduction to Reward Management Systems, into four to help you align what we have written matched to the textbook chapter's learning outcomes. Let me preface this by saying that the entire chapter addresses the first learning outcome by providing a guide to concepts and themes encountered when navigating the field of reward management. Moving on. Segment 1, Introduction to the Topic, directly addresses the second learning outcome to help you use the book as your learning guide. We've defined our key terms. This segment sets the stage for understanding the complexity and controversies surrounding the field, preparing you to understand what follows. Segment 2, Conceptual Frameworks and contextual influences gives a high-level overview of the theoretical underpinnings of reward management, addressing the third learning outcome by exploring reward management alternatives and consequences. This segment emphasises the systemic approach, which is a key concept throughout the book. We'll take a deep dive into systems thinking in a video dedicated to that theme. Segment 3. Structures and Processes for Extrinsic Reward Management provides practical insight into designing and operating extrinsic reward systems, further expanding on the third learning outcomes focus. The segment covers various pay structures, performance management practices and incentive schemes, helping you grasp the core factors in play. Segment 4. Beyond extrinsic reward, non-cash benefits, intrinsic rewards and corporate governance expands the concept of total reward, further reinforcing the third learning outcome. This segment addresses the growing importance of non-financial reward strategies, employee engagement and corporate governance issues, demonstrating the breadth of the field. This segmentation will help you navigate your chosen field, as we have analysed it in the textbook, by breaking it down into manageable chunks. These provide you with the means to grasp what's going on as a clear and logical progression. Up next, the match between what we cover in this introductory chapter and the professional standards used to assess the level of competence you have achieved through participation in the course of study.